Hello? A bagoblin with a bunch of food. Oh, yeah, sleep. Go to sleep, buddy. Perfect. Do I have that sneak strike weapon? I don't. That's okay. Yeah! That's what I was trying to do. Nope. Axe for wood. Oh, okay, well that works too. Goodbye, Barrel. I hardly knew ye. At all. Hello? <laughs> Go to sleep, buddy. Stay awake. The higher the damaged weapon is gonna hit you. That's bullshit. Oh my god, are you serious? Alrighty, you get the maximum level damage! <laughs> Asshole. Ooh, gnarled wooden stick. A very swingable stick made by honing a dried branch to the proper thickness and length. Its attack power is much greater than that of a normal stick. What could I put on the stick? Let's take a look at this. My fuse attack power. One problem I have is that some of these things are... That I've had a problem with. Some of these are meant to be like arrowheads and I just haven't like... <laughs> been caring? So I may have been using things that are for arrowheads as like melee weapon stuff. And I'm, I want to start trying to avoid that. I think we've been mostly fine. I feel like the arrowhead stuff is very specific. Yeah, we can't use any of these. <laughs> can't use any of these right now until I'm desperate. But I will... we can do this one. <laughs> yes. Blue Boss Boko Eggs. <laughs> Wonderful. I guess I gotta read this. This might be the third one, honestly. I haven't been looking around. Part 7? I gotta go. <laughs> we gotta... <laughs> We gotta leave. Oh shit, wait, no, they're talking about me. Oh no. Oh god, wait, alright, fine, I'll read your message. Learnings of the Zora Part 7. The Prince and the Swordsman, as told by Prince Sidon. The rain always stops, except what it does not. This humorous saying was once repeated with a soft chuckle around here. Then one day, heavy rain started falling in the domain. And no matter how many days passed, it did not cease. Although the Zora are a water-dwelling sort, we came to miss the warmth of the sun and the dry winds upon our backs. Alas, as fervent as our desire was, we had no means of stopping the cause of this unprecedented disaster. When all had given up hope, I, Sidon, took it upon myself to invite a Hylian to the domain. This young swordsman of few words was named Link. I trusted him at once, sensing great devotion in his kind eyes. It was immediately clear that my instincts were correct. Thanks to Link, we were able to face the threat head on. 
Our battle with the source of the disaster was intense, but my newfound friend and I refused to yield until we finally triumphed. Sometimes, written words flow so much more readily than those spoken. Link, my dearest friend, you are an unparalleled swordsman, and I admire you so very much. He may lack fins and gills, but it matters not. This hero among heroes exudes magnificence tempered with steadiness. Though we are different, our hearts both yearn to serve a higher calling. I learned much from him, and am eternally grateful. As I recall my best friend, it occurs to me that though the rains have ceased, perhaps a true adventure never does. Aww. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Sidon. Looking forward to seeing you down there. I wonder if any of, like... Because I don't remember what the Zora Domain writings were in Breath of the Wild. So I don't know if, like, 1 through 6 are all the same and then 7 is new. I just don't really feel like running up the entire mountain again to read about the Zora Domain. <laughs> you know? At least, not when it could be potentially my literal second time doing it, and I just don't remember. That's somewhat inconvenient. Okay, he didn't fall too far, though. Okay. Not a... Damn. Oh, you want to toss shit at me? <laughs> toss things at you! Jerk! Okay. Uh, this is the road down here. We're so close! Greetings, Lizalfos. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, you guys wouldn't pick up my weapon and use it on me, right? Like, that'd be fun. Thank you for not picking up my boomerang. He's a slightly important boomerang to me. I wish Link could just pull out a fucking cloth and some oil and cleanse these things a little bit. I'd be down for that kind of system. Maintain your weapon. Grow your favorites. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I was trying to get that frog. Number eight. Learnings of the Zora, part eight. The Princess of Hyrule, as told by Prince Sidon. Once that despicable disaster had ceased to plague Zora's domain, a distinguished yet humble lady paid us a visit. This young lady who appeared with Link at her side was none other than Princess Zelda of the royal family of Hyrule. I beg forgiveness, she said earnestly. Because of the royal family, Princess Mipha, she paused. Unable to continue, small silent teardrops tumbled down her cheek and hit the floor, one after another. 
each saying a thousand unspoken words. She gently wiped her eyes and lifted her gaze to meet the king's, speaking kind words of gratitude for Mipha's sacrifice. We knew well what had transpired was the result of a decision shared by, the Zor by Zora and by Princess Mipha herself. There was no need for the Princess of Hyrule's apologies, and even less so for her sorrow. King Dorofan, along with the rest of the Zora, were moved by the depths uh, by the depth of Princess Zelda's sincerity. She had held that unthinkable disaster at bay for nearly a hundred years with nothing more than the sheer force of her own will. Yet she was not prideful. She dutifully set to work, traveling across Hyrule to secure cooperation for the kingdom's restoration. She was adored by all, yet so humble. She possessed an inner strength that shone like a star in the sky. I used to think that inner strength could be forged by building physical strength, but now... I'm not so certain. I feel a strong calling to one day acquire the same sort of strength within myself. Yeah, you just gotta like, I don't know, throw yourself into like a generally cursed reincarnation cycle and then, I don't know, get the powers of like time and light. You're, you're kidding me, Addison. Right here? Good luck. It's future Gom's problem, not mine. Hey, look, another one of the the writings. That one's really out of the way. Huh. Shrine at the bottom of the place. Meh. That one pick up the crystal. Move it up top. Well, clearly things are pretty unhappy. There hasn't been a single person to even greet me out here. Jeez. Well, we finally made it to the Zoro Domain. Let's see if we can help the people out. Uh, I'm so sorry. Everyone has been treated now, but we have used up all of the splash fruit. Mm. There are more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. Uh? You have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Most importantly, I'm grateful that everyone is alright. Now if we could only do something about that statue. Hmm? Mm? You there! Are you a traveler? I'm sorry that I did not notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Sora's domain is in trouble times at present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Mm. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in sludge. Such a shame as this particular statue is so incredibly important to the Zora of the domain. Mm. We were just discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. I apologize that I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please do make yourself at home here. The large cover statue. Yeah, it's okay. I'll I'll, I'll get to that. Unacceptable. Ooh. Ah, a traveler. It is amazing that you made it here through all the sludge. An enormous amount of that muck fell not too long ago, but you and I have somehow avoided getting caught in it. Thanks to Lady Yona's guidance, we were able to save those buried in the sludge in the nick of time. However, now that gunk is woefully stuck to our domain's precious statue. <sighs> How are you rectify this? I can just toss a fruit at it, like, right now. Splash fruit! Bloop. Well then! Ooh. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Hylian! We have removed that dreadful sludge from our statue! I have no doubt that Lady Yona will be positively elated. Where's Sidon, though? Is he alive? What happened to Sidon? Whoa. The sludge. I see you managed to wash it away. <laughs> that statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. 
It is very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it up. Yes. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. <laughs> that is right! Beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Hylian swordsman. Whoa. It is simply wonderful, is it not? How I would love to meet him someday. Man, y'all have some really short memories. Mm. Can she do it? Say, you have a similar stature to the Hylian hero. Similar eyes as well. Oh my, and you are also a Hylian. And a swordsman. Wait, could it be? Yeah, I am Link. Uh, are you Link, the swordsman of legend? Ahem, please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Oh, um, please accept my apology. Yes. Yes, please pardon our rudeness. Whoa. I'm quite surprised to learn that you're the legendary swordsman, Sir Link. I have heard mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this domain. I am Prince Sidon's... Oh, forgive me. I am your best friend's fiance. My name is Yona. <laughs> I am truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. Oh, okay, Prince Sidon isn't dead. That's what I care about, all right? The bestie's alive. I'd heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? Well, I heard you guys were having some problems, and I figured I could help out. Oh, now to think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, and now you're traveling the kingdom to investigate. Yeah, I guess there was all that, too. That was so long ago, you know? <laughs> so your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain? Sure. In that case, feel free to investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. If you do not mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I am certain that he would be delighted to see you. Sidon can be found at Mipha Court, located at the peak of Ploymus Mountain. All the way up there? I just fucking just came up a mountain. Oh my god. Oh. Lady Yona, it is time. I fear we must be going now. Oh, forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. All right, I'll see y'all around. Mm -hmm. Oh, but if it pleases you, after you've met with Sidon, please, you can, or perhaps you could visit me at the infirm uh, infirmary on the floor above. <laughs> I am determined to be of assistance to you as best as I can, Sir Link. Oh, that was considered a main quest? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Sidon of the Zora. We get to see our best friend, Yona. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I've said, we get to see our best friend, period. And then, oh, Yona. A royal Zora from another domain, known for her kindness, she was Sidon's childhood friend and is now his fiance. She began assisting the residents of Zora's domain in their efforts to combat the sludge as soon as she arrived. A match for Sidon's selfless compassion, she dedicates herself to helping the citizens of the domain. How long has it been since the first game? I don't think Yona was like directly in the first game. I think she might have just been mentioned, but I'm wondering how many of the, uh, cause there are a lot of like kids in, obviously a lot of the places. And I don't remember who was a kid and who wasn't. And obviously I don't really, I'm not gonna really remember any of these Zora except for Sidon. They're gonna have to tell me like, oh man, Link, you helped me, <laughs> you helped me save the land by catching 50 rare fish. And I'll be like, ah, yes, you, the fish person who wanted me to catch fish. I totally remember. <laughs> I need a little bit of help. Uh, I could ask, Sasan, are you doing well? Oh, but what if he isn't? Ah, oh, God, it's another one of these. The kid, the kids that are like obsessed with the adults. How about Sasan? Are you alive? But that's very rude if he isn't. Sasan? <gasps> yes, Sasan. Why are you bringing him up? Do you have news? Oh, I guess it's because I mentioned him, huh? Sasan is my best friend and favorite person. Oh, wait. You're Finley. Gotcha. He's hiding in a traveling merchant. Pretty neat, right? <laughs> we made a promise that no matter what transpired, we would always meet up here in Zora's domain on a certain day. Sasan always keeps his promises. However, this time, that day has already come and gone, and still no sight of him. Uh. 
He still hasn't arrived. That's the why. That's why I decided to write him a letter. After all, I must do something. I mean, I ran into him. He's stuck on the road. Like, I could go take your letter to him. That really wouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh. It's Linny. Oh, ahem. I mean, hello, Link. I'm impressed you were able to make it to the domain. The roads are muddied up with the sludge and the river's so dirty we can't even swim in it. Mm. You really are amazing, Lin, uh, Link. You, um, oh. ugh, enough already, I can't stand it. It feels so cold and unnatural to call you that as though we're strangers. I thought it would feel weirder to call the hero of the domain by some silly nickname I gave him as a child, but, oh, oh whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and call you Linny. Hey, Linny. Ah, uh, yes, that feels so much better. I call you Linny because you're more than just Link to me. I hope you'll forgive me for using my old friend card for that. Anyways, you're amazing, Linny. Only you can make it to the domain under these conditions. I'm so happy to see you again. I think this is exactly what I was talking about. I think this is one of the fucking kids <laughs> from the last game, except more grown up. Oh. oh, I know. You should stay here. You will, won't you? As you can see, you're our only customer, so you've got the whole place to yourself. Try the waterbed if you like. It's divine. I... Still don't know how the water bed works. Uh... <laughs> Ooh. There used to be a shrine here. There used to be a really convenient way to get into this place. I think there was a shrine here at the very least. Crap. Here, mine now. Oh, a customer! Welcome to Merit Mart! Let me- Merit Mart. Let me tell you about our fine facilities. Our convenient general goods store, the Coral Reef, is open. Yes, even during these unusual times. Uh. Then there's our esteemed workshop, the Hammerhead, which is unfortunately closed as of now. Oh, and the one leading dust- or the one reading dusty old text in the library is La Flat. She's no shopkeeper, but rather the royal secretary. Uh, I'm showing customers around, except, well, the only problem is that no one's coming around because of the sludge. Aww. That ju uh, junk seems to be always on my mind these days. I actually wrote a song about the sludge. You wouldn't want to hear it, would you? I, I don't, but you can sing it. <laughs> Great, then please listen up. Ahem! I present a work with lyrics by Merit, music by Merit, and performed by, you guessed it, me, Merit! <laughs> Sludge, sludge, it's filling up the domain. It's thick and gross and on everything. Gills full of mud. I don't know what the fuck she wants to sing, and I hate how many people they have sing in this game, and I have no idea how what they're singing it like. Just, I don't, I'm sorry. I, I tuned it out. The world just suddenly couldn't produce sounds uh, in any kind of capacity. <laughs> Kihi? There you go. It actually cheered me up having you listen to my song. Aww. Wait, you didn't lose heart because you had to listen to that, right? Um, if that's the case, sorry about that. <laughs> I I only lost heart for a completely different reason. I just can't hear voices for some reason. <laughs> what could cause that? I just don't know. Hi. Uh, good morning. Yeah. This is our general store, the Coral Reef. I would recommend the splash food, which we procured to help deal with the sludge. Ah, uh, except we ran out of it. If you see something you like, please just grab it from the table. Oh, unless you have other business with me. Ah, uh, how's it going? Uh, well, to be fair, I'm quite lucky to have my health considering all this sludge nonsense. And yet we've already used up all the splash food that I gathered. Uh. My offerings are far from ideal for the time being, but I am doing my best to keep my spirits high. Do you need anything else? Tell me about this place. Oh. Our seafood is so fresh it's fishy. That's the new motto for our general store, the Coral Reef. Huh. Ah, but I'm not sure when we'll be able to restock the fish. <sighs> I apologize for the inconvenience. Do you need anything else? I, I'm good, oh. really, I guess. I'm just chatting you all up in case you all need any help. Mm -hmm. This document appears to be relatively recent. I must examine older text to, if I hope to find information on the Skyland that Princess Sidon is looking for. Link! Have you already spoken with Lady Yona? She's attempting to repair your Zora armor. Ah. You know full well that the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls. It is essential if you hope to travel these parts with ease. 
Lady Yona is at the infirmary. I suggest you confer with her there at once. Thanks, Dento. Yeah, I guess I could get <laughs> waterfall climbing armor. That would probably be pretty useful. But y'all just don't know about my ability to create vehicles out of nowhere. I don't even know if you guys know about vehicles here. Ugh, this is terrible. I require my wits about me in order to effectively patrol, but my gills are in turmoil because of the sludge. And yet, I'm heartened by the domain statue, the Turning Tide, being returned to its pristine state. It is truly so necessary for it to be standing proud and shining brightly in the middle of everything. Yes, yes, you see, you see the person on top? That's me riding my bestie. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey, Hylian. It's good to see you out and about at such an early hour. I hear you came here for some kind of investigation. You should speak to King Dorf then. Ah, except he's out investigating the sludge. I do not know when he will return. Oh. Perhaps you should hear what Lady Yona has to say instead. She can be found at the infirmary in the back. She's treating those who are uh, were harmed by the sludge. All right, well, I remember who that is, at the very least. It's behind the stairs. Oh. Ah, greetings. Did you come to see Prince Sidon? Oh. If you're looking for Prince Sidon, he can be found at Mifa Court. And that place can be found at Ploymus Mountain. It's such an exquisite view. I've considered not telling others about it. Although, I suppose I just did. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay, I, I need to go up there anyways. Prince Sidon, huh? I simply can't stop sighing. I've been staring at the throne room, I mean, protecting the throne room, for ages now. But these days I never catch sight of Prince Sidon. I know that, what he's, uh, that he's doing some kind of important work at Mifa Corp, but... Uh. <sighs> I would even brave a bit of sludge for just a momentary peek at our prince. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he'll make his way down here eventually. Probably specifically when I go up there, talk to him, and then we start making some progress on, on fixing things up around here. That is a very long path up, though. Whew. Hey, everybody. Can I get some heals too? Magic power, give me some health. Uh, I lost it when I uh, used a cursed weapon. Whew, this sludge really is quite stubborn. I dearly hope our patience recovers soon. Oh. Lady Yona. Sir Link is here at last. Hey, you two. Oh. Oh, you really came. How fortuitous. I was really hoping to speak with you about an item that you entrusted the domain with repairing. Your Zora armor. Hmm. The repair is mostly complete, uh, complete, but it does require just one more thing. I need an ancient arowana. I can finish the armor right away if I can somehow acquire a scale from that fish. I actually think I have a few of those. We've not seen ancient arowanas around lately, and I have no idea where they can be found. Hmm, since they are used for making armor, Dento the blacksmith may know something about how to get one. If you can find one, can you please bring it to me? Do that, and I shall fix your precious item at once and return to your care. <laughs> As you well know, the Zara armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. I am certain it will prove useful to you. Please do not forget my request. Restoring the Zara armor. Oh, could it be you have brought me an ancient arowana? Not yet. Yes, yes. No worries at all. I shall be waiting patiently for you. I'm going to at least find out where I can get some more if I'm potentially having to use it to upgrade the armor in the future. I know that I can get some from Kakariko Village. Yeah. <sighs> so it is you. Do you need something? Hey, do you know where I can get some fish? I see, you seek an ancient arowana. In that case, I have heard whispers that what you seek has been spotted near Mipha's statue, which is at the peak of Ploymus Mountain. This rare fish that has almost never been caught and was used in the distant past to repair the Zora armor. Why has it appeared again? Is this too a result of the upheaval? You, you motherfuckers. You want me to go to the top of the mountain without the waterfall climbing armor? to then get the fish to repair the waterfall climbing armor? 
<laughs> you see this shit? <laughs> Are you serious? It's okay. I at least already have some fish. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the armor. I'm fairly certain one of these has to like heal us for free, right? Like a hot spring kind of situation, but I guess not. Ugh, ugh, if only that sludge would stop falling. I'm feeling much better than before. It is all thanks to Lady Yoda. <laughs> nah, sorry, Yona. I said it weird. It sounded like Yoda. All right, have an ancient arowana. Here you go. Whoa! An ancient arowana. With this, I can finally re uh, finish repairing your treasured Zora armor. Please wait just a short moment while I hurry to the workshop. Do I get the full set, or is it just gonna be like one piece at a time? Hey, how does that work? I am so honored to reunite you with this item, dear Link. Fantastic! Yes, yes! Your armor is as good as new! Armor crafted by a past Zora princess for her future husband. Wearing it would allow even a Hylian to swim up waterfalls. Please take this along with our well wishes. I'm so happy that I was able to return it to its pristine state. It is a precious piece of armor after all. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. Of course, it will not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with sludge. <laughs> However, with your great skill, Sir Link, I'm certain that you will find a way up that waterfall, clouded though it is. Whoa. Please use this well for your investigation into Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Thank you. Although, I feel like I'm missing some parts. About the Zora armor. I'm so honored I was able to fix the Zora armor you entrusted to the kid domain. I was made aware that it is tied to very precious memories for you. As you well know, the Zora armor is quite special. Yes, yes. Okay, I, I got this part. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Farewell. Yes. Be well, dear Link. If I ever can be of use, do let me know. I hope we can chat more once things have settled down. Ah. I'm sure we'll chat a little bit. She says words sometimes. Mostly yes, yes. So she probably has like maybe one or two legitimate sentences somewhere. <laughs> or she's just not important enough to get more than that. Who knows? I was going to take a picture of the birds, but they left. Okay. Oh, hold up. Let me get this shrine over here. Mogawak Shrine. Mogawak. I figure I'll do this shrine and then maybe visit one of the great fairies. Because maybe I can get some big upgrades on this armor immediately. The power of water. Oh yeah? I guess this is a pretty relevant thing to have here. This looks like an empty battery. So maybe if I put this here, and then Oops. 
maybe extend this. The power of hand cranks! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right, hold on, there might be more to this. Uh, like some other pieces I could put on to like have it more consistent. Or maybe that's all I needed to do. Give it a little bit of a spin, and then it keeps itself going. Anyway, this is charged, clearly. Okay. Is the whole water get electrified? No, it's only the invisible area. Works for me. Opal. Hold on, I've got to recharge my battery. <laughs> Righty. Now, how the hell does this work? Okay. <laughs> I got it. I just put it over here. <laughs> Up we go. Is that the whole shrine? Wow. Now that was a small shrine. Vehicle built on sleds will move faster in deserts and snowfields than one built on tires. Really? I understand. You want me to ride around Gerudo Desert on a wind-powered sled? You can do a lot with that. Alright. Let me, uh... Go visit the Great Fairy. I also need to go check out the other dragon tier memory before I completely forget again. <laughs> uh, okay, so the easiest one to go to for the Great Fairies? Actually, yeah, what the hell? This is actually a little tough. <laughs> if I go to this one, I gotta cross a, a, de a winter field. This one isn't so bad. I gotta cross up the Great or the Mountain. This one's across the river. I think this is the best one to go to, actually. Military training camp. I wonder if this is... I don't think it's a Yiga military training camp. Yeah, I see a lot of monsters. Hi! <laughs> Oh, it smells a bit of gloom, I think. Oh. You came to me to have your clothing enhanced, right? Mm -hmm. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to maximum. Oh. Enhance away. Let's see what we can afford. Uh, I could get my Hylian trousers to level 3. Have them match up with the rest of my gear. That's kind of nice. Um, the Zora armor takes Lizalfos horn for the mm. first one. That's not mm -hmm. bad. <sighs> I am very concerned about some of these armor sets that can't be upgraded. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because... It looks like a lot of the armors that we are getting are coming in at like 
level or like they have like three to like five base armor more like three for a lot of them three or four but our max level is gonna be fuck it like at least with this 20 across the board 20 20 20. <laughs> how in the hell does 60 armor compared to 12 armor like what i mean it might just be because it's a stealth set for this evil spirit one so maybe that's why i can't like enhance it and then obviously some of these other ones are just like goofy things for some reason i wouldn't i would why, why can't you art upgrade the dark tunic set i don't know it's just weird especially since you can get these trousers of the hero yeah, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. huh. mm -hmm. No, I skipped a different seed. Oh. Mm -hmm. huh. oh, I'm poor as fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do I need for level three of this? So we need, yeah, we need to find more blue Lazalfos and general Lazalfos. Hardy Baz, I haven't seen, but I'm sure they won't be too bad to get, like, if I focus them down. Though I probably won't really care about the Zora armor. I'm just trying to make sure that the armor that I do carry around or like a good level for me, like this climbing, you know, just so like if I wear the armor and I forget to unequip it in the middle of a fight, uh, having like that little bit of extra defense is nice. All right, so let me look at my album. We are trying to find this fish geoglyph, which should be at the bottom right of this Hyrule area. So somewhere around here, so let's Let's see if I can get a view of it. What am I even at for crystallized charges? 47. All right. Very well. <laughs> I don't know. I'm good. It's been, you know, it's been a surprising amount of hours since the last time we were in the chasm. Okay. Woo, it's right underneath this area. Could the tier be? They're normally in like a slightly filled in part of the geoglyph, usually in a tier shape. But I'm not seeing a filled in one from this angle. So it's either somewhere in there or it's just one of these other ones. No, I think that might just be a rock. A Korok rock. Hmph. <laughs> 
Ahaha. Oops. <laughs> My bad, little guy. We'll try checking out uh, the air over here. Do I have any, like, weapons that don't have stuff? Not really. Okay. I, I see there's a talus over here, so, like, I'm leaving that area alone. <laughs> I do not have a weapon to put it on for its weapon thing, so I'm moving it on. <laughs> I might have to burn down this forest. Cut down the trees. I hope I don't miss it. Oh, and there's a Hinox over here, man. Double the boss. The Hinox isn't as bad, though, because I can at the very least... ...stow away what he has? Wakey, wakey, buddy! Here, we're giving you some elemental shock. Elemental whiplash! Oh boy. Okay, he doesn't care about electricity, he doesn't care about that, alright! Running through the tush! Yay. Parts I can pick up. The best kind of parts. I mean, especially since I do have to use Hinox stuff to upgrade. What is that? Ah, there's a tent. I think it was a Korok tent. I might legitimately summon a hot air balloon to, like, get a better look at the lab. Or I guess I could even just fast travel back up. Yeah, I don't know, I couldn't see a, uh... the dragon tear from the sky. I don't know if they... If it's because it's hidden in the trees, which there are a lot of on this geoglyph, or if I just missed it. Huh, here we go. It was hidden in the trees, fucking dead center of them. This is also really not, like, super obvious, depending on the angle that you're going. It's like a little pond of water, basically. But, you know, it's what we're looking for, so... More noticeable than it would have been if I had just been randomly discovering this stuff.
You're not a fish. Hyrule will bow down before me. Shit! What are these? Are these the Froxes? Balduga are approaching our position. Balduga. Oh, I think it's we fought the these. The it's a sword. There are so many of them. But why would they? expecting a giant laser beam. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna like everything floats in the oh, air. Last wiped out all the Molduga. How is that possible? <sighs> so brute force will not be enough. Not for you, I guess. <laughs> Secret stone of the Sonai. <laughs> How interesting. Well, all right. <gasps> we kind of skipped over some. Some details there, I feel, I guess, a little bit. Uh, not in terms of, like, order, I guess? Because, yeah, hey, we're, 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 we were right. These are being in sequential order, so this is literally... This is number four. This is number three. This is number two. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were going to see, like... Ganondorf become, you know, come to power in the Gerudo clan and then like wage war and all that stuff. No, it's, it's just already happening. It's just cool. He's, he's the leader. He's waging war. He's an asshole. But now he's an inspired asshole. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> all right. I just wanted to grab that. Oh. Uh, Get rid of that. And then we can head back over to the Zora lands. Oh, actually, wait. I need to go to Hestu. Hestu! I'm on my way!